thing around you. It must be kind of uh, hot inside, right? Kind of. <laughs> so these guys are Johanna Sterk and uh, Elia Stieleman. And they are two astronauts. And I think I can uh, better give the microphone to those guys because uh, they can tell you everything about what it's like to be an astronaut. So uh, give them a big applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm uh, here with my uh, fellow astronaut. It's uh, Elias Tielemann. My name is uh, Johanna Sterk. We're uh, here to talk about uh, the extra vehicular suit as displayed near me. Uh, it's quite necessary to uh, use this suit when you go uh, abroad and uh, when I say abroad I mean uh, the moon. <laughs> when you uh, walk over the moon you definitely need a suit like this. <laughs> it costs one million, no, one, uh, no, no. <laughs> It costs two million dollars nope. to assemble. Yeah, here it is. So turn around, my uh, fellow astronaut. Yes, yes, there he is. If you slightly turn around, we see here the life pack. This is the main key of the suit. Here is all the air, the pressure, and the pee you need when you have a walk on the moon. These are the veins, we call it. The veins pump up air to this point. They suck it out at this point. And this one is for the cooling and the heating system. <laughs> now, when we go back to the back, we have here, underneath this part, is the cooling system, which pumps up 20 liters of cold or hot water through the suit. <laughs> Which 